the Hobonichi original. Now I also bought this page keeper, which then is this little plastic thing with elastics that would fit for the Hobonichi original, but you will need to have a cover for it to sit in. So then you can either use it to close the book so if you're traveling and you have it in the bag, it doesn't open up or you can use it as a page marker. Let me just remove this. So this is little notebook that I printed. I'll show you in a second how I use that. So then you can use it, let's say you're on April the 14th, you use it on there. So then when you open it, you can find your page. And of course the cover has these two little page markers as well. All right, so on the cover, I have these task cards. I'll have a video link up here where I go through it a little bit more. But if there is something that you do want me to expand on, please let me know in the comment section. I'll either answer you in the comment section or I'll make another video specifically answering any queries you have, especially if like me, you are new to the Hobonichi planner world. And then some stickers, so just off cut laminate sheet that I've attached transparent stickers so then it makes the slip pockets pretty and then just some other stickers happy planner and this one I bought some floral bouquets from Dezo again another washi gang free sticker with the, my online order a 20 and a 24 sticker from the happy planners I think it's the productivity sticker book there's hubby and I again some floral washi tapes frame the calendar 2024 2023 2025 with skinny washi tape and then the way I'm using the yearly index in the Hobonichi original so you have four months per spread so you've got from December to March of 2025 and then the way again the width of the rows is not wide enough to write a lot of things so the way I'm going to use the yearly index is just a couple of words of who, what I'm grateful for that day what I'm thankful for so December the first my mum and dad grateful for my mum and dad they visited brought me all the lovely Filipino treats and then was grateful for having mental clarity from how I used to be had a mental breakdown in February 2023 and how far I've come a long way to know that sometimes suffer I sometimes have breaking points but that I am able to pick myself back up because I am giving myself grace I'm giving myself a lot of self-care and most importantly I ask for help from those around me when I'm not feeling as well mentally and emotionally so I am grateful that I am the right frame of mind to have mental clarity and that was 2nd of December again here on the 20th which was only a couple of days ago giving myself that mental space that because I was able to see the pattern that on middle of the week I do get quite sad low and emotional that on the 20th which was here that see I broke that pattern I had a good day because I knew it was going to be habit wise pattern wise the way things have been going Wednesday was a little bit more difficult so I think on that day I gave myself grace I didn't put too much stuff on my to-do list or even if I did I didn't have to do it all I didn't have to be the multitasker that I used to think one had to be to be productive and to be able to do it all. So that's the yearly index for the Hobonichi original. Again, just use skinny washi tapes to frame the page. Now I did start the calendar as a productivity planner, writing down tasks, appointments, bills due. So that's how I started in December. However, I changed my mind when I started planning. So I photocopied the daily spread, cut it to size, A6 size, and stapled it all together. So then I could start planning way before the new year started because then these pages start on the 1st of January. So originally I used this for like I said productivity, I planned my time blocking, wrote down my list of things to do but then I changed my mind. So I didn't really want to have the calendar spread with all the different bills due. So what I did, I purchased this grid report pad from Dezo and so it's cream colored with light brown lines for the grid 
made. So I just cut two pages to size and then dotted some glue, used washi tapes to frame the side and stick it onto the page. And then again, these BGM figures stickers and some other stickers from Dezo. So what I'll do, I'm just going to print some photos of different things from December, whether it's family photos or photos that I print from online that help encapsulate how December 2023 was. What I will do is write keywords, print some photos, print some different visuals. So it's sort of like a reflection or a look back. Now I don't know if I'll do that each and every month because that is a lot of work. So I may use the calendar spread different ways. Again, I'll wait until the month arrives and I can change my mind on how I want to use the calendar spread. Now, of course, just a quick little reminder, if you are enjoying this video and you are getting value from it and different ideas on how you think you will use what I've talked about in your own planner. And it doesn't have to be a Hobonichi planner, but if you are liking this video and you are getting value from it, make sure to hit that like button. It'll really, really help my channel. So it starts for your daily pages. Now, because of course I can't start on this until January 1st. So what I did, I just photocopied a spread and then I printed on A4 paper, cut it to size to an A5, got myself a crafted printed paper, stapled it together. And originally, like I mentioned, I started using the daily spread as my daily productivity planner. So time blocking and all my different tasks and to do. And then the way I embellished it is the days of the same week, I used the same embellishment so then I could see themes that, oh, okay, that's all the same week. I started on the 20th of November using this little technique, mock daily spread. And then I like the idea. So I used a mood stamp. So here, mood stamp and stamped on there. And then let me show you a flip through. So I use this as my productivity planner and it was growing great. I was loving how it was turning out. Now, I changed my mind 2nd of December. The reason why is not so much that this wasn't working out. It was because the way I was using my Hobonichi cousin made me change my mind. So this productivity planning, I moved from my Hobonichi original to my Hobonichi cousin. And I'll show you that in a second. Oh, and in the Hobonichi cousin, I had my journaling pages. So in the full A5 size, I had my morning journal. You know, I would write in the morning different things, what I'm grateful for, how I'm feeling, what am I excited about, created myself some task cards to help prompt me. So for the days or mornings where nothing's inspiring me to write, these are little prompts. The green themed one is for reflection at night. So if, you know, I don't get to journal in the morning, I have another chance to get my thoughts, feelings, what's happened in the day later in the evening. The way I used it, sometimes I'll use prompts. Today I am grateful for. How are you feeling? Writing down a positive thing I can say to myself. So again, that's using those prompt task card. Today's going to be a great day. Who needs your A game today? How are you feeling? Embellished it with these BGM figure stickers. Let me show you. Keep them in a photo storage box. I'll show you the back. See these different little figures and then just to help embellish the page. All right, different washi tapes for new week. I think this one, I didn't write anything down. So I took opportunity to use it to write down notes of the book I am reading. Made a little ruled note paper effect with Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen and then blue marker, red marker. And then I think I tried to do a different writing style. I didn't like it. So I just put Tomo River paper on top and just rewrote it. See, if you make a mistake, you can use correction tape, put paper over it or put washi tapes over it. If you're one like me who don't like to see boo-boos on your page, so many different ways you can cover it up, but it is also okay to just cross it out. So I like this 
the way I've set it up and I think I'll keep it this way so if I don't change my mind on 1st of January this whole book will hold my journaling pages again has been a great therapeutic tool in my tool belt when it comes time to looking after my self my well-being and self-care and so getting your thoughts down on paper helps you remove yourself away from it it's not swirling inside your head and then keeps getting heavier and heavier and keeps you low and because our brain doesn't know what's real and not real right so if you tell it that you're no good that you should have done better then that's what it's going to believe that's why gratitude journaling is so helpful because once you start writing down what you're grateful for what you're thankful for what's positive in the day it starts to spot those positive things throughout the day more so than not because it'll start seeing it whatever you put your mind and effort on that's what it will concentrate or seek out more of the morning journaling allows me to remove those anxious thoughts or even beautiful great and happy thoughts out of my head down on paper read it again when you're writing things down it helps you retain and remember the information more it helps you process it a lot better when it's written down on paper and then you are better positioned to like I said respond rather than react and it's I think reason why I have had those mental clarity and in a better frame of mind throughout 2023 okay so that's how that little photocopied booklet works so only a few pages left that just lives in there so the cover page now this one is little memo pads again another hobonichi products so it came in a pack of three and sometimes you know when you need to write down little scribbles little notes and you don't want to put it in your planner and then put it in the back of your book like i have here that is my hobonichi original with the gingham cover and cover on cover that is how i'm going to use it for 2024